Hey everyone, welcome to part 5.5 of this Arch Linux tutorial series. This video is a supplementary addition for those using VirtualBox. We'll be installing VirtualBox drivers allowing for a higher screen resolution than 1024 by 768, which is the maximum the generic Visa driver allows for. Please understand that if you are installing Arch in a hypervisor other than VirtualBox, like VMware, you will have to take similar steps to allow for higher resolutions, but you'll require different packages than those we'll be using here. Those that are doing live builds or using different virtual machine software can go ahead and skip to part 6. If you're lost, please hit the link below to browse this playlist. Alright guys, I'm making this video far after all the other tutorial videos I've done, so I apologize in advance. A good number of videos are going to still be stuck with this 1024 by 768 because I had not figured out a solution. I had been fighting with this for a very long time until I finally got this to work uh, just a little while ago. So I'm going to show you that procedure now. I'm going to quit our desktop environment here. Uh, and go back to the TTY because we're going to be uninstalling our previous video driver so we can't really be in any desktop environment uh, for this to work so now that we're back at the TTY we're going to use Pac-Man with the R switch for remove and uh, we're going to remove that x86, xf86-video-visa this is that generic driver that we installed uh, in part 5 all right, so now that that is done, we won't be able to get into our graphical environment because we no longer have a video driver. Now, the VirtualBox drivers specifically do not play nice with uh, Zorg or Xorg, the configuration files of Xorg, rather. So we're going to go ahead and use the move command to rename these. Just in case we need them in the future, I highly doubt it, but it's always a good idea to have a backup. These are located in the X11, or Etsy X11, and we're concerned with the Zorg Conf D folder. We'll just go ahead and move it to the same uh, X11 folder, but we'll just rename it something else. Rename it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Zorg.old. Okay, so now let's go ahead and install the VirtualBox additions or utilities. We're going to use Pac-Man here with the S switch. We're going to grab VirtualBox guest utils right so now that it's done you may notice this arrow here it says you may want to load vbox guest vbox sf and vbox video so we're going to do just that we're going to run mod probe with the a switch and we're going to load vbox guest vbox sf and vbox video All right, finally, this is going to require a new configuration file. So we're going to use nano, again, use sudo, sudo nano, and we're going to point this towards Etsy, modules, load D, and we're going to call this file virtualbox.conf. In here, we're just going to type uh, vbox guest, make a new line, vbox sf, and finally vbox video. Control X to exit, Y to save, enter to quit. So from here, let's go ahead and update our system with Pac-Man, sudo Pac-Man, S-Y-U. Right, so now that the system update has been performed and we do have uh, the VirtualBox drivers installed, uh, let's hit up our um, xinitrc file here with nano. This is located in your home directory. 
And here you see where I start my uh, graphical user interface. In this case, I'm using Awesome. You may have something else installed. But the important thing here is to add a couple lines. So we're going to throw VBox client dash all, and we're going to put an ampersand after it. And put this before your GUI is being loaded. So this will be higher up in the text. All right, and then down here, we're going to load another command. This is xrander with the S switch. Uh, lowercase <laughs> and you'll input your resolution here so for example I want 1920 by 1080 and hit control X to exit Y to save enter to quit and from here we're going to do sudo reboot Alright, so once your system has rebooted or restarted, you can go ahead and run start x. Now you'll see that the resolution itself has changed. Now unfortunately it hasn't increased all the way as I wanted, so this is kind of a bit of a hack, but what we're going to do here is actually go to view and go to seamless mode and switch. Now your system may disappear here. Go down here and switch to full screen and hit switch again and that has increased your screen resolution I don't know why it does it this way but there you go so now I'm at 1920 by 1080 so I'm gonna go ahead and open something alright guys that's how you do it I know the end there was kind of a little screwy, but unfortunately it just doesn't work right away. You have to kind of light a fire under its ass and then it works. But there you go. That is how to change your screen resolution using XRander and some VirtualBox manipulation. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you for watching.